30 Columbus police officers have been wearing different models of body cameras to test out which one will be best for the department's 1,400 officers. NBC 4's Rick Reitzel live at Columbus Police Training Academy right now with more on the plan for those cameras. Rick? Well, that's right, Mike. Officials say 30 of those officers are already started wearing body cameras, and they expect to roll out phase one by the end of this year in the traffic bureau because they say these officers rarely enter homes. Officials say that's just one of the issues with these body cameras, where and when they should film, and who can copy it or see it. Columbus Police Officer Robert Barrett says he likes the cameras. The ability to document what an officer would see on these traffic stops and all these different types of situations comes in real handy. The rollout is expected to happen in eight phases, costing eight and a half million dollars. A mother whose son was murdered eight years ago says the money could be better spent. We should not be spending money on police cameras when we don't have proper rec centers, summer jobs for the children to go to and to get interactive with the police. Terry Green is organizing a youth anti-violence summit and says the body cameras are a good idea. I think it's very necessary. I think it's necessary because it's tangible evidence, tangible evidence that can be utilized in different investigations, investigations as far as police brutality and other important investigations. Here's the six body camera models the city says it's looking at, saying they won't pick the lowest bidder because this is a long-term relationship. Problems still need worked out over what video should be shot or who it's shared with. You can't use them around anybody that's nude. Um, you will not be turning them on and off when you go into someone's house unless they give you permission to um, for privacy issues. There's nothing HIPAA related. Now, police records show a million three hundred thousand calls last year for police officers' help. Now, out of those calls, 16 different times, officers fired their weapons at suspects. At the Columbus Police Training Academy, Rick Reitzel, NBC4.